Get your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free. Projects in QuickBooks Online Plus or higher provide job costing features to help you track income and expenses for projects you complete for customers. Projects allow you to see this information in a single location. Projects allow you to track income and expenses by project and run project reports. To enable projects in your company files settings, if needed, click the Settings button in the QuickBooks Online toolbar. Then select the Account and Settings command under the Your Company heading in the menu that appears to open the Account and Settings window. Then click the Advanced button in the menu at the left side of the window. Then click the Projects section to the right to activate its settings. Click the Organize All Job Related Activity in One Place toggle switch to set it to the On position, and then click the Save button at the bottom of the section to save your change. Then click the Done button at the bottom of the Account and Settings window to close it. To view your projects in QuickBooks Online Plus or higher, click the Projects link in the navigation bar to open the Projects page to the right. To create a project the first time you visit this page, click the Start a Project button. To create a new project when opening this page in the future, instead click the New Project button in the upper right corner of the page. After you create a new project, the New Project pane appears at the right side of the window. Type a name for the project into the Project Name field. Select the name of the project's customer from the Customer dropdown. Optionally, to set the project's start date and end date, select choices from the Start Date and End Date calendar drop-down fields. To set the status of the project, choose a status from the Project Status drop-down. If desired, type any notes or a description of the project into the Notes field. Then click the Save button at the bottom of the pane. At that point, you will then see the Details page for the selected project. If desired, to return to the main listing of projects, either click the All Projects link in the upper left corner of this page, or click the Projects link in the navigation bar. The Details view of the project shows the project's details towards the upper left corner of the page. Below that is a graph showing the profit margin, income and costs, and due and overdue invoice amounts. In the upper right corner of the detail page for the project are an edit button, which you can click to edit the project's details if needed, and an add to project drop down button that lets you add transactions to this project to track its income and expenses. At the bottom of the details page for the selected project, you will see Overview, Transactions, Time Activity, Project Reports, and Attachments tabs that you can click to view the associated project information. If needed, click the Projects link in the navigation bar to view the main projects page. This page lets you create and manage your projects, which appear in a projects list in this page. To filter the projects list, select a choice from one or both drop-downs above and to the left of the list to filter by either job status or customer. To find a project, type the value to find into the Search All Projects field to the right, and then select the name of a matching project from the drop-down list that appears as you type to open that project's details page. At the top of the main projects page, you can click the arrow in the lower right corner of the instructional area at the top of the page to expand and collapse the instructions as needed. To sort the projects by project name, click the project slash customer heading. Each time you click this column, it reverses the sort order. To pin a project to the top of the projects list so it always appears there regardless of sorting, Click the star icon to the left of the project name. To unpin a pinned project, click the star icon again. To perform an action on a project, click the Options drop-down under the Project's Actions column. 
then select either the edit this project, mark as in progress or not started, mark as completed, mark as canceled, or delete command as needed. To change the display of the project list, click the settings button in the upper right corner of the list to show a drop down menu. To show or hide columns, then check or uncheck the column names under the Columns section in the drop-down menu. To show deleted projects in the project list, check the Show Deleted Projects checkbox under the other heading in the drop-down menu. To print the projects list, click the Print List button in the upper right corner of the list to open a printer-friendly version of the list in a separate browser window or tab, and also open your web browser's print dialog box. Then set the print settings and print it using your web browser's print dialog box and close the new page or tab that opened. To set the hourly cost rate for employees you created, click the hourly cost rate button in the upper right corner of the projects page to show an hourly cost rate pane at the right side of the window. To add a cost rate for an employee, Click the Add link under the Cost Rate column for the employee. Then type the cost rate into the field that appears. To let QuickBooks help you calculate the cost rate, click the calculator icon at the right end of the field instead to show an hourly cost rate drop down menu. Enter the values for the wages, employer taxes, additional employer taxes, workers' compensation and overhead fields to then calculate the total hourly cost rate. To then add that rate to the field, click the Add button in the drop-down menu. To save the rate after adding it, click the Save link to the right of the cost rate field in the pane. Alternatively, click Cancel to cancel adding the rate. After adding a cost rate, you can then edit it in the future as needed by clicking the pencil icon that then appears next to the field. When finished, click the Done button at the bottom of the pane. If transitioning to projects after using sub-customers for projects in QuickBooks Online, or if importing jobs from QuickBooks Desktop, note that you can convert an existing sub-customer into a project if desired. To convert a sub-customer into a project, Click the drop-down part of the New Project button in the upper right corner of the Main Projects page. Then select the Convert from Sub-Customer command from the drop-down menu to open a Convert Sub-Customers to Projects window. In this window, check the checkbox next to the name or names of the sub-customers to convert, or click the checkbox at the top of the list to select them all. Then select each project's status from the far right drop down. Then click the Convert button in the lower right corner of the window. Then click the Continue button in the confirmation window to continue the one time process of converting them into projects, or click the Cancel button to cancel the process. Then click the OK button in the confirmation window that appears after the conversion finishes. If you don't see the project after conversion, use the drop-down above the project's list to select All Statuses, as the project may be imported as a completed project. Then simply edit the project as needed. Like what you see? Pick up your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free.